His methods, unconventional. It is really quite exciting. It's a process of discovery. His inspiration, the city grid. Why see shapes in the map? With the road as his canvas and his bike as the paintbrush, Stephen is putting a creative spin on cycling. People, they're like, wow, you do that on your bike? Stephen Lund has become quite the artist using a mobile tracking device. A lot of people call it GPS art. I call it GPS doodling. Call it what you will, it is the first time someone has taken this innovative approach. On my bike, I have a GPS tracking device. So as I ride, it tracks my route. And when I upload the data, and I get a picture. Stephen saw all the creative possibilities after outlining the city's main roads on a map. It was then, he says, images started popping off the page. And I saw that red line on the map and thought, there's got to be more to it than just tracking my fitness rides. Ever since, he has been revealing treasures hidden in the streets of Greater Victoria. Uh, I've done a sea serpent. I've done a couple Star Wars characters, Darth Vader and Yoda. I've done a Stegosaurus and a couple Tyrannosaurus Rexes. And that's just to name a few. Garmina the giraffe is everybody's favorite, it seems. And it was one of the early ones I did. And that was a great example of an image that is just there on the map. And, and even now, whenever I look at the map, I can't help but see the giraffe there. So I think it's really cool that she's always been there. And I just discovered her. And he's really going the distance. A doodle can take anywhere from three to four hours to complete with him covering on average a distance of 70 kilometers. In the past year, he has clocked in more than 800 hours on his bicycle. So in 2015, I rode over 5,000 kilometers just doing pictures on my bike. Intrigued by his passion and approach, I joined Stephen in doing a doodle. Hey, Lisa. Hey, We it? cruise the streets of Victoria in an attempt to make a masterpiece. Come on. This is a good one, me riding and her walking. However, <laughs> I did have trouble keeping up. So how far have we gone now? Well, I've gone about 20 kilometers. You've gone about 200 meters. <laughs> <laughs> how, much, how much further do we need to go? <laughs> uh, three more K to finish the doodle. Perfect. OK, I'm following you. All right, <laughs> away we go. And it's not just in Victoria, where Stephen is leaving his mark. His GPS art is gaining major traction online. Shortly after I did my giraffe and Strava, which is the app that I use, uh, tweeted it out and featured it on their Facebook page. It, it went viral in the cycling community. And my, my blog views went from 59 on a Tuesday to 12,000 on Wednesday. Now with more than 180,000 views and international attention, it is more than he could have ever imagined. But for him, it's not about the recognition. But one of the things that drew me to biking is it's one of the few times I don't have work in my head. I work as a, a writer, so I've always found it a bit of a, a break from an otherwise very cerebral occupation. Similar to writer's block, his hobby also comes across little bumps in the road. The real mental challenge is when I'm actually riding the route, because I know if I make a wrong turn, I have to go back to the beginning. There's no eraser on a GPS device. And I've actually been 50 kilometers into a doodle before and watched it and started over at the beginning. But no matter what, he's committed. It's fun, because I know that when I get home, there's going to be this really cool outcome. It really makes it all worthwhile. Calling it urban exploration with a twist, he is peddling his art, trying to motivate others to get moving. Uh, you know, I think it is really a great way to inspire people to get out and get active. If you can move, you can doodle. So what will your GPS art look like? Corner, where we stopped and chatted along. Feeling inspired? I'm Lisa Bismeni in Victoria for Go on Shaw TV.